An oxide is a chemical compound that contains at least one oxygen atom and one other element in its chemical formula. Oxide itself is the deanion of oxygen, an O2 atom. Metal oxides thus typically contain an anion of oxygen in the oxidation state of minus 2. Most of the Earth's crust consists of solid oxides, the result of elements being oxidized by the oxygen in air or in water. Hydrocarbon combustion affords the two principal carbon oxides, carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide. Even materials considered pure elements often develop an oxide coating. For example, aluminium foil develops a thin skin of aluminium oxide called a passivation layer that protects the foil from further corrosion. Individual elements can often form multiple oxides, each containing different amounts of the element and oxygen. In some cases these are distinguished by specifying the number of atoms as in carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide, and in other cases by specifying the element's oxidation number, as in iron oxide and iron oxide. Certain elements can form many different oxides, such as those of nitrogen. Formation Due to its electronegativity, oxygen forms stable chemical bonds with almost all elements to give the corresponding oxides. Noble metals such as gold or platinum are prized because they resist direct chemical combination with oxygen, and substances like gold oxide must be generated by indirect routes. Two independent pathways for corrosion of elements are hydrolysis and oxidation by oxygen. The combination of water and oxygen is even more corrosive. Virtually all elements burn in an atmosphere of oxygen, or an oxygen-rich environment. In the presence of water and oxygen or simply air, some elements sodium react rapidly, to give the hydroxides. In part for this reason, alkali and alkaline earth metals are not found in nature in their metallic, i.e., native, form. Cesium is so reactive with oxygen that it is used as a getter in vacuum tubes, and solutions of potassium and sodium, so-called NAC are used to deoxygenate and dehydrate some organic solvents. The surface of most metals consists of oxides and hydroxides in the presence of air. A well-known example is aluminium foil, which is coated with a thin film of aluminium oxide that passivates the metal, slowing further corrosion. The aluminium oxide layer can be built to greater thickness by the process of electrolytic anodizing. Though solid magnesium and aluminium react slowly with oxygen at STP, they, like most metals, burn in air, generating very high temperatures. Finally grain powders of most metals can be dangerously explosive in air. Consequently, they are often used in solid fuel rockets. In dry oxygen, iron readily forms iron oxide, but the formation of the hydrated ferric oxides, iron 3 oxide minus X O 2 X, that mainly comprise rust, typically requires oxygen and water. Free oxygen production by photosynthetic bacteria some 3.5 billion years ago precipitated iron out of solution in the oceans as iron 3 oxide in the economically important iron ore hematite. Structure Oxides have a range of different structures, from individual molecules to polymeric and crystalline structures. At standard conditions, oxides may range from solids to gases. Oxides of metals Oxides of most metals adopt polymeric structures. The oxide typically links three metal atoms e.g., rutile structure or six metal atoms carborundum or rock salt structures. Because the MO bonds are typically strong and these compounds are crosslinked polymers, the solids tend to be insoluble in solvents, though they are attacked by acids and bases. The formulas are often deceptively simple. Many are nonstoichiometric compounds. Molecular oxides Some important gaseous oxides Although most metal oxides are polymeric, some oxides are molecules. Examples of molecular oxides are carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide. All simple oxides of nitrogen are molecular, e.g., NO, N2O, NO2 and N2O4. 
Phosphorus pentoxide is a more complex molecular oxide with a deceptive name, the real formula being p 4010 Some polymeric oxides depolymerize when heated to give molecules, examples being selenium dioxide and sulfur trioxide. Tetroxides are rare. The more common examples, ruthenium tetroxide, osmium tetroxide, and xenon tetroxide. Many oxyanions are known, such as polyphosphates and polyoxymetylates. Oxycations are rarer, some examples being nitrosonium no plus, vanadyl VO2 plus, and uranyl UO2 plus .Of course many compounds are known with both oxides and other groups. In organic chemistry, these include ketones and many related carbonyl compounds. For the transition metals, many oxo complexes are known as well as oxyhalides. Reduction Conversion of a metal oxide to the metal is called reduction. Reduction can be induced with many reagents. Many metal oxides convert to metals simply by heating. Reduction by carbon Metals are wan from their oxides by chemical reduction, i.e. by the addition of a chemical reagent. A common and cheap reducing agent is carbon in the form of coke. The most prominent example is that of iron ore smelting. Many reactions are involved, but the simplified equation is usually shown as 2 iron 3 oxide plus 3 C4 Fe plus 3 CO2 metal oxides can be reduced by organic compounds. This redox process is the basis for many important transformations in chemistry, such as the detoxification of drugs by the P450 enzymes and the production of ethylene oxide, which is converted to antifreeze. In such systems the metal center transfers an oxide ligand to the organic compound followed by regeneration of the metal oxide, often by oxygen in air. Reduction by heating Metals that are lower in the reactivity series can be reduced by heating alone. For example, silver oxide decomposes at 200 degrees Celsius 2,4-Ag plus O2 Reduction by displacement Metals that are more reactive displace the oxide of the metals that are less reactive. For example, zinc is more reactive than copper, so it displaces copper oxide to form zinc oxide Zn plus CuO ZnO plus Cu Reduction by hydrogen Apart from metals, hydrogen can also displace metal oxides to form hydrogen oxide, also known as water H2 plus CuO Cu plus H2O Reduction by electrolysis Since metals that are reactive form oxides that are stable, some metal oxides must be electrolyzed to be reduced. This includes sodium oxide, potassium oxide, calcium oxide, magnesium oxide, and aluminium oxide. The oxides must be molten before immersing graphite electrodes in them. 2 aluminium oxide 4 Al plus 3 O2. Hydrolysis and dissolution. Oxides typically react with acids or bases, sometimes both. Those reacting only with acids are labeled basic oxides. Those reacting only by bases are called acidic oxides. Oxides that react with both are amphoteric. Metals tend to form basic oxides, nonmetals tend to form acidic oxides, and amphoteric oxides are formed by elements near the boundary between metals and nonmetals. This reactivity is the basis of many practical processes, such as the extraction of some metals from their ores in the process called hydrometallurgy. Oxides of more electropositive elements tend to be basic. They are called basic anhydrides. Exposed to water, they may form basic hydroxides. For example, sodium oxide is basic When hydrated, it forms sodium hydroxide. Oxides of more electronegative elements tend to be acidic. They are called acid anhydrides. Adding water, they form oxoacids. For example, dichlorine heptoxide is an acid anhydride, perchloric acid is its fully hydrated form. Some oxides can act as both acid and base. They are amphoteric. An example is aluminium oxide. Some oxides do not show behavior as either acid or base. 
The oxide ion has the formula O2. It is the conjugate base of the hydroxide ion, O, and is encountered in ionic solids such as calcium oxide. O2 is unstable in aqueous solution minus its affinity for H is so great pKb that it abstracts a proton from a solvent H2O molecule. O2 plus H2O2 minus the equilibrium constant of aforesaid reactions is pKeq tilde minus 22. In the 18th century, oxides were named calxes or calces after the calcination process used to produce oxides. Calx was later replaced by oxide. Reductive dissolution The reductive dissolution of a transition metal oxide occurs when dissolution is coupled to a redox event. For example, ferric oxides dissolve in the presence of reductants, which can include organic compounds, or bacteria. Reductive dissolution is integral to geochemical phenomena such as the iron cycle. Reductive dissolution does not necessarily occur at the site where the reductant adsorbs. Instead, the added electron travel through the particle, causing reductive dissolution elsewhere on the particle. Nomenclature and formulas Sometimes, metal oxygen ratios are used to name oxides. Thus, NBO would be called niobium monoxide and titanium 4 oxide as titanium dioxide. This naming follows the Greek numerical prefixes. In the older literature and continuing in industry, oxides are named by adding the suffix a to the element's name. Hence alumina, magnesia and chromia, are, respectively, aluminium oxide, MgO and Cr2O3. Special types of oxides are peroxide, O22-, and superoxide, O2-. In such species, oxygen is assigned higher oxidation states than oxide. The chemical formulas of the oxides of the chemical elements in their highest oxidation state are predictable and are derived from the number of valence electrons for that element. Even the chemical formula of O4, tetraoxygen, is predictable as a group 16 element. One exception is copper, for which the highest oxidation state oxide is copper oxide and not copper oxide. Another exception is fluoride, which does not exist as one might expect as F2O7. But as OF2, since fluorine is more electronegative than oxygen, oxygen difluoride OF2 does not represent an oxide of fluorine, but instead represents a fluoride of oxygen. Examples of oxides The following table gives examples of commonly encountered oxides. Only a few representatives are given, as the number of polyatomic ions encountered in practice is very large. See also Other oxygen ions ozonide, O3, superoxide, O2, peroxide, O22, and dioxygenyl, O2. Suboxide Oxohalide Oxyanion Complex oxide See category Oxides for a list of oxides Salt References <references>